My name is Noah Schoonover. When was the last time you saw Made in America on a store-bought product? One of our nation's biggest problems is that fewer and fewer items are made here. When the products we use are not American-made, the money spent on them does not stay here. The majority of America's products are imported from other countries. In fact, an estimated 2.7% of our total spending goes to one country, China. It doesn't sound like much, does it? But think about this. America owes nearly $30 billion to China alone. Two-thirds of all products in well-known stores are imported. Foreign products wouldn't be such an issue if it wasn't for the ever-deepening debt they create. Another topic that needs noticing is the poor conditions and payment of foreign workers. Asian sweatshops are very unpleasant places, and working in one could easily take the name of slavery. With Buying American, your money does not go to support this. If the constant dependence on other nations continues, then our debt will grow, and the hope of digging ourselves out of it will vanish. This inequality of trade, better known as a trade deficit, devalues our currency, making it more difficult to get the goods and services we need. We did not always have this problem. Before trade routes were established, nearly everything used in a country was made in that country. The benefit was a much smaller trade deficit, and the goods tended to be of a higher quality. Now, our apathetic ways have led us down a road of buying cheap products made by low-skill workers. The typical American business simply cannot compete on a cost-per-item basis with other countries. The cost of labor and material make this impractical. Believe it or not, when Walmart first opened its doors, owner Sam Walton had a vision of selling only American-made products. The business model had to change because they could not obtain American-made goods at a competitive price. This gave Walmart a battered image because now only a small percentage of their goods are American-made. Common store goods are not the only imported items. Crude oil and automobiles are high on the list. America does produce a lot of this kind of resource, but 50% of our oil and 65% of our automobiles are imported from other countries. How can we help? Buy American. The job you'll be saving could be yours. It seems more of everything comes from elsewhere. How long until nothing is produced in the USA and should we try to prevent it? Maybe the subject is better not visited, but Made in America has a nice ring to it.